The new Warzone 3 is out, and I'm assuming a lot of you guys are trying to get better. Today, I have 20 tips on how to instantly improve in Warzone. Tip number one, we're going to be talking about how far away you need to be when you jump from the plane. So basically, in the old Warzones, like Warzone 1, Warzone 2, you wanted to jump around 700 to 800 meters. That way, you can get down to the floor first, grab loot, be in a power position to take out anyone who's landing near you. Now, the plane is lower in the new war zone. So what you want to do is jump off around five to 600 meters so you can beat them to the loot. To top it off, this landing right here specifically is very good. One, you get instantly a lot of loot in this building, armor plates, really good weapons, anything to take out the people next to you. On top of it, it's a great spot for high kills. You're going to see a lot of pro players and good just top tier players landing here because not only do you get kills initially, there's a buy right next to you, a buy station where you can buy weapons or a loadout or a UAV. And on top of it, you have a balloon where you can grab and rotate to anywhere else on the map and keep going for them kills. Tip number three, we're going to be talking about cutting the animations off the balloon and the zip line. If you did not know, if you just let your character do it by itself, there's an animation between one to two seconds where you basically can't move, can't do anything, and you're easy pickings. But if you jump when you grab the balloon, you automatically skip that initial animation and it tends to launch your character very quickly and it's going to save your lives a lot of the time because you know people like to camp around the balloon and take you out and the same thing goes for those zip lines a lot of people like to just manually sit st stand still and hit the zip line and you got to like attach yourself and then you go but with the zip line you can jump grab it and again it's going to skip that initial animation where it's going to launch you and just you grab okay, it on it right away and start zooming again. you Tip number four, which is very underrated, in the gulag, a lot of people don't know this or don't do this, but you can actually go up the zip line really quick to win it. And this goes back to tip number three, don't do it the slow way. You can smoke out middle map, maybe mess with your enemy a little bit, especially if you're weak and you feel like there's no way you're going to win this 1v1 gunfight with this little health. What you want to do is you want to smoke and then you want to jump and grab the zip line and it's going to launch you pretty quickly up and it's very hard for them to kill you and you should get the w tip number five in this game money is low and it's kind of harder to find money in general contracts are your best friend we're talking about scavenger or even a most wanted because when you open up crates you finish the most wanted quickly this is going to be super good to utilize to get a loadout a lot quicker you're going to see people starting to do this more and more as the game go on and progresses people are grabbing these early scavengers and it's these early most wanted because it allows you to grab that money very quickly especially if you're playing with a team because your teammates can help you finish those contracts a lot quicker and boom you have a loadout instantly versus just looking for the money and it takes you like a couple minutes five minutes just to get enough tip number six we're going to be talking about stims they are back in the new war zone they actually give you that huge movement boost that a lot of people used to love back in caldera back in Warzone one that boost where it gives you it obviously heals your health back but it gives you that increase in movement speed which allows you to kind of like juke your enemy hit your enemy with a movement and it makes them hard to trace you tip number seven it goes back to the money in the gulag there is a lot of money sitting around sometimes in the middle of the map of the gulag sometimes there's like a five six seven thousand dollars of cash just sitting there you definitely want to try as you're fighting your opponent grabbing some money but that shouldn't be your main concern obviously you want to win the gulag tip number eight with movement being back in warzone a big thing people uh, tend to do and used to do back in the old warzone is you can now slide down stairs slide down hills slide down any like slope ramps very effectively and this is good to maneuver around the map this is good to save your life this is good to cut time tip number nine movement is extremely important in the new war zone because it's back it's really is back but you need to make sure you have the right settings because without the right settings you won't be able to play to your full potential and have the insane movement that a lot of these pros do so you got to make sure you switch a lot of these settings right here this is going to allow you to be faster it's going to allow your movement to be quicker your slides are going to be better overall you're going to feel more fluid on the map you're going to notice a pretty big difference so make sure to change these settings and watch it change your game tip number 10 self revives are insane in this game they are very common you're probably wondering where in the bathrooms you're gonna find those medicine cabinets especially the one that has the health aid on them but those are even more like they spit those things out like it's nothing it's tip number 11 yeah. tactical spamming is back so something they added new in this war zone is that when you use a tactical whether it's a lethal or just a smoke a stim whatever it is if you have more in your backpack it automatically equips it 
and you can continue to spam. So you can add eight frag grenades, eight Semtex in your backpack. It will just, you can spam all eight within eight seconds. It's pretty crazy. The really cool thing about this, in my opinion, is you can make some combos with even your tacticals. So for example, you can have smoke and stunts. You can have smokes and stims. Tip number 12, slide canceling is back. And this is the number one movement you're gonna see pro players or anybody in the game using. I even see Billy Bob Randall 4000 using it as well because everyone knows how to slide cancel or what is a slide cancel. At least the majority of players do. Slide canceling is just slide, jump, and then aim in and shoot. It's a very simple combo. So you basically just slide, jump to cancel the animation, and you aim in and shoot. But if you do it very quickly and around corners, it's very effective. This is going to be the number one way to engage in gunfights. This is what I use pretty much 90% of the time, unless I'm jump shotting around a corner. But I'm usually slide canceling around corners every single time. Tip number 13, buy stations are back out of zone. Something that the old war zone had was buy stations would close very quickly out of zones and portable buys were automatically closed once hit the gas. This is something new in this new war zone. Basically, you have 30 meters before it closes. So you can ping it. You can get a feel for it. If you see it very close to the edge of the gas, it's 100% open because as long as it's not too far, you know, you have 30 meters, like I said, before it actually closes. A lot of the times you see buy stations outside of the gas, near the gas line. It's like back in the old one. It's like, okay, you can't hit it. In this game again, now you can hit them. So it's really cool. Even portable buys as well, which is pretty awesome. You know, so make sure to remember that, utilize that. Go save your teammates. Go buy a UAV. Don't be scared. Tip number 14, and I feel like this is pretty important if you don't have this on, make sure to turn the setting on, apply all armor plates. This is going to be extremely important when it comes to being in a mix, when it comes to being in a lot of gunfights, because when you have just applied one plate at a time, it's very slow. The guys who apply the plate, it kind of cancels the animation, get applied again. So applying the plates are, also, are one, very slow. It feels very uh, clunky in a way. Uh, tip number two about that is that when you're applying those plates, you can move around. You can get mixy. You know, you don't have to hold triangle or press the button again. You're automatically already plating. You can utilize your, your movement, you know, whatever. What's your next step? You're not thinking about, okay, let me press triangle or whatever button is to plate again. I got to plate again, you know, so it, it allows you to do very do things very, very well on the map. Uh, Tip number 15, whenever you're changing your attachments on the weapons, if you press L2 or whatever button it is for you to show more, it could be L1 or whatever console you're on or PC. It's going to basically show you more information about the attachment, which is really awesome because they didn't have this in the past Call of Duty. And it tells you the numbers to like how much it takes away from the ADS, the cons, the pros. You can do that with every single attachment. You can compare them. Tip number 16, quick fix is your best friend. Regenerating in this game is very slow. So quick fix helps with that. One, usually when you start plating up, about I think it's like a half second delay, immediately starts healing you. So you pretty much get your health back a second later as soon as you start plating up, right? And obviously if you get a knock or a kill, I believe, it also gives your health back and you start healing right away. So this is a good, good perk, for, especially for the new war zone, and it allows you to take on multiple enemies at once. Tip number 17, turn this setting off. Parachute, auto deploy, off. You want this off. Here's why. It basically, as soon as you get too low to the floor, it automatically opens up your parachute. This makes you easy to get picked until you can't really make any plays on anybody. When you turn the setting off, you can dive on people very quickly. Now, it takes a little practice before you start breaking your legs a lot like Tim the Tat Man. But this takes practice. And once you get it down, you can fly down on enemies very fast, very quickly and catch them off guard. You can get jumps on a lot of people. This can save your life. If you got to fly down very quickly and get somewhere and like to play your life, maybe you're getting shot out the air. If you have all of the play on, you're just going to get picked and you're going to die. So make sure to have this setting off. Tip 18, you can make your mini map bigger. So usually your mini map is a circle, but if you turn it into a square in your settings and interface, this is going to make it bigger so you can see more on your mini map. Tip 19, which is a pretty cool new thing to add in this game. If you look away from a flash, it actually does not affect you. We're talking about CSGO style. So you can flash yourself, turn around if enemy is about to push you and it will flash him, but not you. This is kind of fun to use and to think about. Just know like if you think someone's about to flash you and you turn around or turn your head around, you either would get slightly affected by the flash or not at all, which is pretty awesome. And you can also use this to your advantage. 
tip number 20. Gray bags actually have really good loot in this game. Now, in the past Call of Duty, they've been pretty bad, especially in Warzone 2. But in this new Warzone, they contain usually a, a plate every time. They contain a gun every time. They contain cash every time. So these are three guarantees of really good loot. And then on top of it, they'll have, sometimes have a streak, a UAV, uh, a munition box. It can contain, contain equipment. These gray, these gray bags are very, very, very good. One of the best things you can open compared to the past Call of Duty. That was 20 tips on how to instantly improve in the new war zone. If this is something you really like, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps a lot. We could potentially do another one in the near future. Hope you guys all have a fantastic day. And don't forget to catch me at twitch.tv slash apathy. I'll catch y'all later.